Hey guys, John here with Realtruck.com. Today I want to show you how to install the X-Tang Full Tilt Toolbox Tunnel Cover on this Ram 1500. As you can see here, we've got everything out of the box. It comes complete with everything you need to get this thing together and onto the truck. So what we have here is we have, of course, our cover itself, our, our crossbows, and uh, the really cool thing about it is, is that these are designed so you really can't mess them up if you're paying attention, because like this one, I don't know if you can see it, but it says center, and so you know exactly where they go. So that's helpful and handy. It comes with your, your L brackets, it comes with all your side brackets that have all your snaps and such attached to them and the seals, uh, your prop rods, your brackets for attaching everything on, corner braces, bolts, optional corner foam, and your instruction sheet. So the only thing left to do at this point, guys, is get this thing together and onto our truck. So the first thing we're gonna do is take this L channel, and you can see here it's the big flat one with the rubber seal on the back side of it there and we're gonna put it on here. Now you wanna make sure that you put it with the, uh, the rubber seal pieces down and then we're just gonna slide it right up against the toolbox and uh, make sure that it's centered on there. And then we're gonna get our lower L channel and we're going to attach our L bars to it and then put it on here as well. So let's get to that. So then we're gonna take our, our uh, lower L channel and we're gonna take our L bars and we're gonna attach them to that. Now the way we're gonna do that is just slide in. But make sure though, guys, that when you put these on that you can see here how the L channel is designed. And we're gonna put these on so as this piece is down when we put it onto the truck. So we're gonna slide this in this side. You might have to back these little hex screws out a little bit to get that in there because um, that's what's going to tighten this down this onto here to hold it in place once we have it where we want it. And just make sure they're just back far enough you can slide it in there. Put this one in this side like so. And then once we have this in place, we'll go ahead and put this up on the truck. Okay, so we've got this ready to go on, but before we put this actually up on there, what I want to do is peel this paper off of our foam seal. And it's not a sticky seal, it's just plain straight up foam. And we'll just toss that out of the way. And uh, then we're gonna take this and we're gonna set it right up on here. Just like so. And what we wanna do then is get this all centered on here. And once we have it all centered in place where we're gonna want it, then we wanna make sure that these um, mounting brackets on the front are as far back as we can possibly put them. And uh, I think they're pretty good right where they're at. So I'm gonna go over and get the other side and get this thing centered in here. And uh, we'll be ready to start putting the clamps on. All right, so we're ready to attach our clamps. And as you can see here, guys, we have our, our rear piece of our clamp. It's the part that has the orange neoprene strip on it. So what we're gonna do is make sure that that part is actually up under here because that's gonna go against our truck uh, bed and it's to keep it from actually damaging our truck. And the piece on the bottom down here is actually gonna fit into some notches on the bottom of this L bracket hinge. So what we're gonna do then is we're just gonna put it up in place up here just because it's not wanting to fit in there just exactly where we want it. So we're just gonna push down on it just a little bit and right there it is. So we'll put our screws in. Now we have these, these hex bolts and washers. You wanna make sure you put a washer on each one of your bolts and attach them into here just like so. Now leave these just finger tight to start with and I will show you why here in just a second. 
as soon as we get this one on. So it's going to walk onto the bottom. Okay, good. Put our bolts in. Okay, so we've got all that in place. Now, what I want to do is just make sure that I have this pushed all the way tight up against my toolbox. So that way my seal is actually sealing like it's supposed to. And then once I have that, then I'll tighten them down. Okay, and then once we have this side, then I'll just go over and do the exact same thing on the other side. And when I get that done, then I'll come back and show you guys what we're going to do next. All right, so the next part we're going to do is, the, is our upper rail. And we're going to actually take this. And you can see how this part of it is rounded. And that's actually going to go right down into this channel on the piece we just put on there. And that's our, our lower rail. So we're going to take this and we're just going to Kind of turn it a little bit and just roll it right down inside that channel area there. Flip this up out of the way here. And set it in place just like so. And once we have that, the next thing we're going to do is attach our side rails and our, our back rail, so let's get those. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is attach our side rails. And uh, if you look on these, you can actually see they're marked driver and passenger. If for some reason yours aren't marked, then it's really easy to, to know that your lock handles go to the back. So as long as you have that that way, you're gonna be in the right area of doing it. So we're gonna set that up on there like so, and then it just snaps right in place just like that. And then we're gonna go put the one on the other side and then we'll be ready to put the, the back rail on. So we're gonna put our rear rail or our tailgate rail on and it goes on just the same way. You just put it in the slots, just give it a little pop and it snaps right in place, just like that. So once we have our rear cross rail on, the next thing we're gonna do is put our L channels or our corner braces rather on the sides and we're just gonna take these bolts out that are in on each of the four corners remove those and uh, we're going to use these to attach our corner braces with now when we put these on it's important to keep in mind that we don't want to tighten them down just yet because we're going to want to square this to make sure that it's uh, nice and square and on the truck right before we get that far along i just got to get that one lined up So what I'm going to do is just leave those finger tight, go around, put a, all four corners, and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys how to square this. Okay, so what we're going to do now, once we have all these in place, is square our framework. And the way we're going to do that is just measure across here. And you can either do this yourself if you're pretty steady at it or get somebody to hold one side for you. And we're just going to get a measurement to the corner, and that's 79 inches to there on that one and we're going to go and measure across this way the same thing and from that corner over there to over here and just a little bit move it just a little and there we go 79 so we're good and once we have those all in place the way they're supposed to be then we can go ahead and tighten everything down and uh, tighten our corners down here and we'll get that and then we'll just go around and tighten up all four 
and we'll be ready at that point to put our crossbars on. You can see here that th this one's marked center, but uh, since there really isn't a, quite a center on here, we're just gonna call this, this one the front one. Uh, just makes it a little simpler for you guys to understand. And you can see there's a, a, a notch or an indent in the end of these, and these are spring-loaded. And you can also see that on our rails here, there's a tab that has two tabs. Uh, one tab would be for performance, and the other one is just for a better, uh, sleeker look. So we're just gonna put ours right on the bottom one, and we're just gonna put it over on the other side, insert it on the there. Now it's very important, guys, that when you do this, that you don't put these in between there because they uh, will not work properly that way. So we're gonna get that and stuck on the other side, maybe, perhaps, there. Okay, now this one is gonna be just a little bit more snug because this is the one that actually keeps everything all nice and lined up. Once we get it in place there, it should be all good to go. And I'm just gonna check the other side to make sure that I got it in there correctly, which is always a good idea. Just to be sure, guys. Okay, one's all in place. So we're gonna do the same thing with the rear one. And we're gonna put it on the bottom on that side over there. And since I'm over here, we're just gonna do it over here. And we're gonna put the rear one on the bottom right here. And boom, all good to go. All right, double check this, make sure that it's done correctly. And it is. All right, so once we have that all in place, the next thing to do is to attach our cover and get it all snapped into place. And I'm gonna get my pad out of the way there. And we're gonna fold this out here. Well, actually, before we get this too far along, we're gonna separate our snaps and just kinda of get our snaps uh, located across our bars here, which is gonna make it a lot easier when we go to start hooking this up. Okay, once we have our snaps all located out across there, we just want to bring our cover back and across. And lay it out here nice and neatly. And what we're going to do then, when we start to snap this on, we want to do the corners first. Once we get this corner snapped on, in this corner, get this corner on here. Now when these are new guys, just so you know, if you wanna, they're gonna be a little bit snug to, to pull and get the snaps in place. But after they've been out in the hot sun for a little bit, it won't be nearly this tough when you're trying to open this or close this by taking it by unsnapping it. However, uh, because of the design of this cover, you really don't have to unsnap it to get into it. So that's a, bonus. Once we have the corners all in place, then what we're going to do is we're just going to go around and we're going to get all the center ones all snapped down as well. So I'm going to get this all snapped down. The next thing we're going to do is, is attach our prop rods and we're just going to unhook or unlatch our cover here and take our prop rods and we're going to put those on. Now these are really simple and easy to do. All you do is take those spots. Now make sure when you do this that you have the, the uh, cylinder part down and you just snap it right on in place there and the same thing on the top one up here. Just snap it right on in place. And then we'll do the one on the other side. And there we go. So, 
There you go, guys. All done, all through, ready to go. You can see it locks it down really nice with those rods and gives it a little opening there for you. So we'll pull it down, we're gonna latch her up. And there you have it. It's just that easy, guys. That's how quick and easy it actually is to install the x Tang Full Tilt Toolbox Tunnel Cover onto your truck. So remember, until next time, happy motoring.